Is that cool? Yes. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> Welcome, Brandy Mary Kay Consultants. We got a lot to cover, but let me kind of share with you the structure what we're going to be doing. My goal is to get the new consultants to progressively moving up to make money along the way, to be master consultants where you would just know your business, everything. And that's why I spread it out for a six training pay setters, even though it's not consistently six weeks because we're on our way to LA and things like that. But I really wanted to take the time with you to really help you to move, to learn, to be equipped, to bond with you, all of that, okay? So what we kind of did, and one thing about me, I want you to know sometimes I change things up a little bit. Um, God would say, no, do this, and, and I'll do that. But right now, this is the plan, okay? So right tonight, we're going to talk about basically your income, the, the forms of income in Mary Kay, um, basic, the starter kit, making sure you are totally set up for full circle success. We're going to talk about the skincare class. That's the main thing new consultants want to know. How do I actually hold an appointment, right? What do I say? So we're going to go over that. And then class number two, we're going to talk about money matters, inventory. We're going to talk about in touch. A lot of consultants are, they'll call me like, where is this one in touch? So we really want to do an in touch um, maneuvering around and get that. We're going to learn about the weekly accomplishment sheet for you to track your, your money. And then we're going to class three we'll talk about booking even though you will already have been booking appointments and holding appointments we'll just dig in a little bit more and coaching your appointments to hold and customer care I felt like I was talking about something in the hospital I really meant to say customer service but it wouldn't register <laughs> for some reason um, class number four effective communication because you're going to be hit with objections there are normal objections, but you're going to become so masterfully skilled with your communication. Either you won't hear them or you'll know how to overcome them. We're going to then talk class number five about goal setting. We may do a vision board and then weekly plan sheet because we're women on the go. we got things going on. You're working, right? Yeah. And you have family, mm -hmm. which is work mm -hmm. in itself, mm -hmm. but also you have dreams and goals that you want your Mary Kay to deliver for you. Mm -hmm. And then class number six, we'll dig into the career path about team building, even though by that time you will be recruiting. We'll talk about the national courts so you can really get that full recognition nationally with Mary Kay and about the Star Consultant Program. And the great thing, what I love about this training, this is something I did years ago. I've been with Mary Kay 24 and a half years. I used to do new consultant training on Thursdays years ago, and I loved it. But you know, things have changed. Mm -hmm. People are like all over the place, and, and so that's why we're recording this, because we have out-of-state cons new consultants, and so I'm going to send this to them awesome. tonight. But I really wanted to kind of bring it back to the old-fashioned way mm -hmm. in Mary Kay, old school. Mm -hmm. So we're going to do that. We're going to do some recognition the weeks to come so you get some goodies. I always love getting goodies yeah. in Mary Kay. Yeah. <laughs> but let's get started. One of the first things I want to talk to you about, and you all have this book. It came in your starter kit. Yes. This is so great. This is the Something Beautiful, Start Something Beautiful, Get the party started and so many other great things. It's like your new consultant's guide. When you turn to page uh, 10 and 11, I love it because the history of Mary Kay, of course, Mary Kay Ash is our founder, and she worked for a direct selling company for 20-something years, and she saw some likes and dislikes. And so she started to write down a list, her dream list, of what is great what is not great and from that she created Mary Kay against odds of trying to get a business loan and the banks denied her but nothing stops a woman when you really want to do something right mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and then we have Paula Kirkpatrick she's been one of the top sales directors for the past several years she started Mary Kay her mother-in-law 
retired now national, but her mother-in-law was trying to share the opportunity with her. No, 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 I'm not interested. But she had a passion for women, the fight against domestic violence. Mm -hmm. And so she pulled some consultants together, because her mother-in-law was a Mary Kay, and some hairstylists together. So let's go into the shelter and bless these women. So they did makeovers, did their hair. And she saw a woman who, and you gotta read the story, she saw a woman who was like, I guess in a state, she was just coming into the shelter in a state of the state that you would be in. Destroy. Right, yeah, destroyed. Mm -hmm. And from that, she saw the Mary Kay consultant sit with the woman, and the woman eventually got pampered because she deserved that. Mm -hmm. She needed that. So that was a turning point for her. She said, I want to be a part of a company like that. Mm -hmm. And then you have Valerie Bagno. I remember Valerie Bagno when I won my first Mary Kay career card, drove up to New Jersey to finalize everything. That's a wild story, I'll tell you one day. <laughs> but she came in there and she was sharp as she had this gorgeous red suit. I'll never forget this suit. Sharp. And she was a brand new national. In fact, she became, back then, people are now have broken her record, but back then she became a national within seven years of starting her business. And she could only conduct Mary Kay appointments every other weekend. She was a nurse, she was working double shifts, so she only had every other weekend. She started Mary Kay, her mother had died, her father was a pastor, her mother had died, she had sisters, and her mother asked her, please take care of your sisters. So she came to the U.S. to, to make money to do that. With her Mary Kay business, she was able to financially take care of their education. So uh, I mean, you guys, so many. Everyone has a story, and the longer you're doing this, the more stories you will hear, and you're going to create your own story, right? right. Now go to page 14. The thing is, it's time to get started. If you have not, but I believe you have, um, on Mary Kay in Touch. We're not going to go into it too much today, but on Mary Kay in Touch, you have some time-sensitive things time sensitive things as far as ordering your products. If you want to, you know, you want to get started of course, and there are certain levels where you can get bonus product. That's time sensitive. Also, getting your Mary Kay website. You guys have it so easy. You get it for just 30 bucks, which it was 60 bucks a year isn't bad either. But 30 bucks you get that um, your business cards, um, pro pay because when people say, "Do you take credit cards?" you want to gladly say yes. <laughs> I have found they spend more. Yes, they do. <laughs> and so you want, you want to be able to process their credit card. Yes. So you want to do that. So on Mary Kay in Touch, I believe the way you all are set up for brand new consultants, when you first signed on and asked you about your eye color and your hair color, what it's doing is customizing a color look for you. Because one of the new consultant bonuses is a color 101 and that was good for me because I never wore makeup mm -hmm. so I was like oh color I don't know what to do with it but color you know that was really great to get that as a gift so you want to just look at what is time sensitive and sit down with your sales director and talk about all that and then on the right page 15 this is a number I want you to know just like your own number <laughs> the 800-272 9333. That is, it's right at the, yeah. What you're going to do, that is customer, your customer service. You call there, ask about your products. It directs you to if you have technical problems with in touch or, or your customer delivery, everything, everything. One thing I want to share about Mary Kay, what I love about it, whenever I'm in need, have a question, need support, I can call them. It's not when you ever work for a company like, can't talk to the CEO, mm -hmm. right? right? Mary Kay, you can call Medical Relations, you can call Ruby Sales and Development. Um, you can just call them and they will direct you. Okay, so you got great support. And your sales director, we're here yeah, we're to help home. you. <laughs> wear us out, wear us out. Right, and my, pro my problem has been over the years, and I'm working on it, I've been like a mother, right. you know. What I really want you to do, call the 800 number because I want you to master this. So when you have your team members, you want them to really grow. Mm -hmm. And then you, and the funny thing is, some of my consultants will call me, ask me about a product. I'm like, I don't know. 
you know, call the company. I've been doing American for 24 years, but I don't know. So that 800 number is excellent, but we are here. We're your biggest supporters, your biggest cheerleaders. There's never a time that we want you to feel like, oh, I already called her 10 times today. Call me the 11th time. Mm -hmm. Normally that's when you get it, right? Mm -hmm. Just call, call, and call. Oh, we got to get you on Boxer. 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 Boxer is like a walkie-talkie. Okay. It's quick communication. It's a free download. Okay. So it's V-O-X-E-R. <laughs> and Tanisha just got hooked on it. Awesome. Mm -hmm. And you know what? I love it too because also on there is my notes. Mm -hmm. So I can say, go to the store today and buy some water or yada yada, yada all that kind of stuff. <laughs> and I get to play it back. But what is this walkie-talkie? So I press that button. And I can box Tanisha while she's at work, but she can't, not supposed to be on the phone, right? But I know she can't really have a long conversation. That's yeah, it. That's okay. mm -hmm. She can't have a long conversation, but she can box me and say, Stacy, I have a customer that's asking about this lip color. Do you know if we still have it? And then I can box her back. I'm not really sure. I don't think we do. Oh, I love it. Yes, real quick. So consultants out there. Get Boxer, free download, quick communication, okay? Um, next thing is page 20. You know, the funny thing is, um, even though I really did not know a lot of people when I started Mary Kay, because I was not one to have a lot of girlfriends and all of that, but so that even reduced my chances of really knowing who I was going to book. <laughs> But, you know, you join Mary Kay, all of a sudden, I don't know anyone. I have no relatives. I have no friends. So because what's happening is, subconsciously, you're thinking, like I did, they would definitely not want yeah. to be, to, to do Mary Kay or, or to use the products. Mm -hmm. My sister-in-law eventually said to me, why don't you ever ask me? Wow. <laughs> all right. And they became consultants, too. <laughs> okay, so do not assume for anyone. Assumptions will not get you anywhere, okay? Mm -hmm. So go through your list. If you were having a big party for your daughter, you know, your ch children? Yes, children. Children. <laughs> mm -hmm. Who would you invite? You know, we love to show our children off, right? Mm -hmm. You know how we are. And so who would you invite? You want to have a list of for in-state and out-of-state. And these are the people that you want to write down. These are the people that you're going to be calling. And they're going to love it. You just need to separate yourself from the relationship with them to now a Mary Kay person. You know, it's kind of difficult. Once you get through your family and friends, you can mm -hmm. do anybody. Right. Yeah. Absolutely. They're the hardest. Mm -hmm. Right. They are the they hardest. Because they're the ones that will tell you no fastest. Right. You're right. Before they understand. Right. I know. Yeah. Yes. It's so true. But you get them to say yes. For sure. So I love this page because it gives you um, categories mm -hmm. of um, the different people that you can schedule appointments. Now I do have a booking hotline. I created a one to two minute recording of a dialogue of what to say as a brand new consultant to schedule your appointments. Because when I was brand new, I didn't know. People would say, oh honey, thank you, but I'm not interested, or I don't have enough time, oh, I don't like Mary Kay, or my face is too sensitive, or I don't have any money, or I don't wear makeup, okay? So I have learned to master all of those objections, and you will too. So I gave you a dialogue, and let me give you that number, um, that just use it, listen to it as much as you can. It's really simple, straight to the point, and people want you to be straight to the point. So the number is 712-775-7089 and the PIN number is 430-960. So put a star next to that. This is something I really want you to listen to as much as you need to. Okay, and so you know this book is really great. Start going through it. We will refer to it throughout the training. This is really awesome what they put together for you. Read the stories also. Now, 
we want to talk a little bit about income in Mary Kay. How do you really make money? Everybody thinks they know how to make money in Mary Kay. Let me tell you, you're going to make money two ways. Today we're going to talk about the product. And then later we'll get into the love checks. Okay, I'll call it the big girls game. Okay, <laughs> but the products, you're going to make 50% profit off of everything that people purchase from you. 50%. So you're going to service your customers through doing facials. A facial is a one-on-one -on -one or a double facial, two people. She shared it with her friend, right? A, a skincare class or a Mary Kay party, they're the same thing. Just different terminology. Skincare class, um, Mary Kay party, girlfriend get together, whatever you want to call it, okay? And that's when it's three to six people. We try not to do 10. I mean, don't, don't tell someone, oh, I can't do 10. Mary Kay herself, when she was in the field, she just found that she wanted people to get that attention, that special attention. Mm -hmm. 10 was too much. And she was making just as much money with three to six people as mm -hmm. she was with 10. Right. You know? Yeah. So, and that's the great thing. You want people to feel special. Yeah. So that's a skincare class, Mary Kay party, whatever you want to call it. Three to six Okay. Now you always invite more because you know things happen. Yeah, right. Traffic on 695. Mm -hmm. You know things like that happen. Always invite more. Mm -hmm. Throughout this, um, hopefully the six sessions, we will, you will be able to determine your booking average. For example, I was talking to one of my new cons one of my consultants, and she was saying if she schedules three appointments to hold. I said, that's excellent. Yeah. Because yeah. normally that's that's excellent. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, my other one says she schedules five to hold. Mm -hmm. You know, so you will determine eventually what your booking average is. Mm -hmm. But write this down. I want to talk about something a little later just to give you a little tip. I'm not going to talk about it right now. Um, holding two skincare classes. Just write that down and you all have to remind me because I am one. I will forget. Okay. So, Selling the product, you're going to sell through your facials and your skincare classes. Um, you can do other parties, like when the summer's coming, we used to do Bahama Mama stuff, you know, body care, um, all feet on deck. I went to a customer's home one time and she had the shower curtain, we laid it on the floor and it was BYOB, bring your own bucket mm -hmm. and towel and they did and we had candles and we just did like the satin, the, the different spas that we had mm -hmm. and they just did their legs and we went around and talked and I also got them to try the skin care so many things you will become so creative mm -hmm. okay so it's a lot of fun it's like why well, I didn't know I was that creative you know um, so Mary Kay on the face another way you're gonna make money people shopping on your website mm -hmm. make sure you have that website one thing I do want to say about the website like other um, companies be um, beware of scammers. Did you? Okay. Now the great thing is if you're not sure, always call the company, or you can call me, but mainly call the company, the legal department, and say, is this legit? Normally, you can tell when it's broken English, yeah. or if they say if they want to, if they want you to send them product, and then they'll send you the money. Or they may say, my daughter's wedding or my consultant's sick. You'll kind of know, but feel free to call your sales director or call the company. I even got another one. And I, as long as I've been in the business, I call the company. I say, is this? Yeah. Okay. And they say, yes. Okay. okay. So they're just out there. Yeah. They don't want to work. They want mm -hmm. you to work and they want to get paid. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. Um, but your website is a great a great tool. You will make money and your customers love it. They love it. Another way you'll make money is on the go. On the go is, I was just sharing with Tanisha that one of my consultants, Brooke Johnson Knighton, she had someone who called her and she said, I'm interested in a foundation. She said, I, I think this may be my color. And Brooke was like, I just can't give you any color. We'll get together so I can match your shade. And so the woman lives so far away, even though that's not a problem for Brooke, but the woman said, well, why don't we meet halfway? So they met at Panera Bread, and she brought a friend, 
and Brooke had them complete the profile card. I don't know where mine is. The profile card. And she did the hand show. Instead of a facial, because it's that Panera Bread or Starbucks, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. she did that she had them do the skincare on the back of one hand. Mm -hmm. Well, she made close to three hundred dollars. Okay. Yeah. So on the go. Yeah. You know, I've done facials at my children's basketball games during the break. You know, um, the quarter. We'll go into the bathroom real quick, and the lady was standing at the sink. I did a facial. That you do what you gotta <laughs> yes, do. Me. You know, I'm gonna pause for a moment so that we can do the next recording. <laughs>